Biomimicry is innovation inspired by nature. It's the process of looking at something like a leaf and trying to figure out how to make a better solar cell. It's become popular in the design disciplines, mainly, I think, because people are looking for more sustainable ways to do things. And organisms know how to do this. After 3.8 billion years, life has learned what works and what's appropriate on the planet. And right now, that's what the people trying to redesign our world are looking for. What we do in biomimicry is we bring in biologists to the design table. We look at how does nature contain liquids? How does nature repel water? So for instance, go outside, look at any leaf and the veins in a leaf, and what you're seeing is the world's best water distribution network. There's an amazing thing called the Murray's Law that says that all branching structures in the natural world, including our lungs, they all follow a single mathematical formula. And it has to do with the pipe, branches, and it drops down to a smaller diameter, and then it branches again, and that drops down to a smaller diameter, and that's predictable. People in building, in green building now, are starting to say, well, maybe our 90-degree angles that we have in plumbing are really friction devices. Maybe we should distribute electricity differently in a building, water differently in a building, even, even gases, even air conditioning differently in a building by mimicking this Murray's Law in, in, our, in our plumbing. The most important thing that people should know is that a sustainable world already exists. We're just now beginning to open our eyes and realize that the answers to the questions we've been asking, how do we live here sustainably, are all around us.